Hey, it's me. Just wanted to say something on a more positive note. And that something is a random recommendation. And, well, what could be more random than me recommending a completely, <laughs> or at least almost completely forgotten cartoon from way back in, and I'm actually trying to find out the exact um, time this came out, be because I didn't write a script, because I never write scripts, because I'm lazy. Okay, a show that came out at the tail end of the 70s and the beginning of the 80s, if available information is to be believed, and by that I mean Wikipedia, because this show is that old and not very remembered. Well, it has only one fan page, and that's actually a fairly interesting thing, but a lot of the links there are a bit dead, so... The show I'm talking about is Dr. Snuggles. Now, I've never actually read any of the books, books that um, are associated with this franchise, so I'm only familiar with this series. In fact, I've only discovered the series um, randomly. In fact, no, well, years and years ago, I remember mm, seeing a random offhand mention of it at one on the list, but there was nothing really there t for me to much care about, so I didn't bother. But years later, I somehow stumbled off into the series. I'm not exactly sure how. And, um... The first episode I've watched is um, the episode, again, I can't retell the number because uh, the available episode lists actually sometimes skip, uh, switch one of the two of the episodes in place, I'm not sure which episode it is exactly, but it's the episode called The Remarkable Fidgety River, and um, it was co-written by... Uh, Douglas A it, uh, it was co-written by John Lloyd and Douglas Adams. And um, while it may it has an environmentalist point, that point isn't really that you know hammered in that much. And uh, it's a bit of a microcosm of all that the series is, the utter undiluted insanity the series has while also having this wonderful charm in it that mostly comes from Peter Ostinov, who's doctor doing the doctor doing the snuggles, has, gives him this sort of, I would say it's stereotypical, but I'm not really sure if that's, if I could describe it like that, but this sort of Britishness that isn't snooty or snobby, but it makes you seem sound like a kind old old bachelor professor, professor and who really cares about her, her things and is generally not going to back down even when he can actually really do much of, of anything physically. When, when the danger is is great he's still going to try and see it through to the end to do what is right. And yes, well, his character is, is great and and again Peter Ostinov is, is amazing at this. And the voice acting for the show is generally very good, but the best thing about it, as I said, is that it's just absolutely, incredibly bonkers. Um, you will, if you actually look this series up, and then the remarkable Fujitsu River is an episode you could watch, but I'm not. I think you might first, well, first couple of six episodes that before that because they set up a few of the things, like the Cosmic Cat, um, Matilda Junkbottom, and the others. But um, this episode does follow the usual standard of the Dr. Snuggles episodes, and that is, and here's a bit of a spoiler warning, that is, the, the episode begins, some kind of problem arises, and by the end, uh, it's resolved, but in the middle of the episode, there's like a complete Actually, out of nowhere moment that like comes out is completely bizarre, and and uh, absolutely astonishing. It just doesn't. I couldn't say it doesn't gel at all, but it's com it surprises you because they, when they decide to go full full, full on on ballistic, they go full on ballistic. I mean, you, you cannot predict what's going to happen in this show, and basically, almost all episodes have like halfway point is like. You're going to be completely and utterly surprised what happens. This episode in particular, it basically <laughs> it has all the things that happened before, um, that showed up before in the series, in the previous six episodes, and like has them all in, and you're like sitting there watching it, and they're like, "What the hell is this? What? What? What am I looking at?" And um, the problem with this is that well, that's not a problem basically, but. 
Uh, it's actually a pretty good epi episode, but again, you might it might spoil you on the other episodes that came before it, so it, I'm not sure if you might want to watch it at first. However, it still is recommended as well as the entire show. Um, basically, the plot is that uh, there's water missing, or rather, the the area that Doctor Snuggles lives in, Snug Woods, is suffering a, a huge drought and. Um, the doctor investigates it and finds out that the river is missing and um, he then goes into a nearby cave and there finds the river curled up with a face being incredibly incredibly weird and and frightened yeah there is a the river is sentient in this show and that is only the first five minutes and that is not even remotely close as to how bad and crazy the episode heard progresses from there. Though, a bit of a note on this, I've actually, I've actually seen the um, comic book adaptation of this episode, and basically, it's like it only has the first five minutes, and when they're leading the stream to the, to the ocean, and then instead of all the other interesting things happening, like it just ends, and I, and I was extremely disappointed when I seen that. So. I'm not exactly sure if the other adaptions are like that, but this episode is definitely worth a watch, and pretty much all the others are. I've seen all 13 of them. It really makes me sad there's not any more, but I take it for me, even if it's completely random and completely out of nowhere, give this show a watch, and there's like try not to just focus on, oh, it's just a kid's show. You're going to be grateful that you did. Okay, so this is me stumbling through another quick impulsive video and signing off then. Uh, I guess I don't really have a catchphrase or anything like that, so bye.